Welcome to the Vapor Physics. In this video, we will discuss about multiple choice questions, objective questions from the chapter sound, especially 7a, which is included in November exam. Okay, so let us start. So, question number one is the reflected sound heard along with the original sound is called an echo true or false so this is false statement because uh, the reflected sound heard when the original sound is seized okay finished it's heard already then separate sound heard that is reflected from the obstacle that is called echo okay so when it is heard along with the original sound then that will not be the echo so this is false question number two sound waves do not obey laws of reflection when they are reflected by an obstacle so say they do not obey so that's why this is false so sound waves also obey the laws of reflection that is angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so this law is obeyed by the sound waves question number three the persistence of hearing of human ear is 0 0.01 second 0 0.1 second 0 0.1 minute 0 0.1 hour so answer is 0 0.1 second so this is what the time for which the a particular sound is analyzed and it remains there for 0 0.1 second and uh, after 0 0.1 second only the separate sound will be heard so if two sounds reach the ear within this time then it will not be identified as uh, they will not be identified as separate sound that's why so persistence of hearing of human ear is 0 0.1 second and that's why echo is heard only after this time so original sound will be heard then after that after the interval of 0 0.1 second if the reflected sound reaches then that sound will be heard separately and that is called echo as we have discussed in question number one okay next question number four to hear an echo distinctly the reflecting surface in water should be at a minimum distance of 17 meter from the listener so here 17 meter but in water so in water it is 70 centimeter uh, 70 meter sorry 70 meter in water because speed of sound is 1400 meter per second so that's why it comes to be around 70 meter but here 17 meter is given for water so this is false so that's why you have to read the question carefully so if it is in air then they should be correct so true but for water it is 70 meter not 17 meter for air it is 17 meter okay minimum distance is 17 meter in air okay next question the correct formula for finding the distance of the obstacle from the listener uh, for hearing echo is d is equal to 2v into t d is equal to 2 by vt d is equal to vt by 2 none of this so this is the answer okay so how to remember distance is equal to speed into time but here sound travels twice the distance d okay so it goes to the obstacle and it comes back so that's why the sound is traveling the distance d twice so we'll take 2d is equal to v into t basic formula is same distance is equal to speed into time but distance is taken twice 
d is one way distance and sound is traveling two times so that's why 2d is equal to vt or d is equal to vt by 2 so this is the formula but uh, in numericals always remember if the sound is produced and heard at the same point then only this formula is applicable okay so source of sound and the listener so both should be at the same point then only this formula is applicable okay now we will go to question number six the size of the reflector must be large enough as compared to the wavelength of the uh, sound wave for hearing distinct echo so yes it is correct so size of the reflector must be large so that all the waves are reflected back next question is the waves used in the method of sonar okay sound navigation and ranging sonar so this is the method so which wave is used ultraviolet infrasonic supersonic and ultrasonic so ultrasonic is correct so this number d is correct okay ultrasonic is correct ultraviolet is not the sound and this is basically the method of method uh, where sound is used sound navigation and ranging so ultraviolet is the electromagnetic wave infrasonic is frequency is less than 20 hertz okay supersonic are also not waves but ultrasonic they have frequency higher than 20 kilohertz 20,000 hertz so high frequency so large amount of energy is there these are energetic waves because of frequency so they are used they, they travel long distance okay so that's why they are used next question question number seven eight bats can send these waves to locate the obstacles in front so bats produce same ultrasonic so bats use this method sonar method sound ranging method using ultrasonic sound okay so audible sound infrasonic they are not used and supersonic is not the sound wave okay so it is related supersonic sonic sound so this is related to sound only so that's why i have given the option so ultrasonic waves are produced by the bats and they detect the reflected ultrasonic waves and locate the obstacle and they deviate themselves from the obstacle and avoid colliding with the obstacles like that so this is the method of sonar used by bats okay same way uh, dolphins fishermen they also use the same method and same waves okay and next is sonar stands for so full form of sonar can come so sound navigation and range uh, sound navigation and ranging is the correct answer so this second answer is correct and others i have just written sound narration and ranging sound navigation and random sound navigation and roaming so this type of answers they seem similar they seem similar but uh, Mm, actually is sound navigation and ranging okay that is sonar next question question number 10 echo depth sounding is based on based on echo method so obviously so echo method so this formula and all are used signal is sent received and time is noted velocity of the sound wave is taken okay then we can find the um, depth of the sea depth of the obstacle 
depth of submarines, so and so. So this is also based on echo method where um, the sound waves are reflected. Okay, so this is true. The next question. Image of gallbladder stones can be obtained by using this way. So again, so ultrasonography, you must have heard ultrasonography. So ultrasonic waves are used. So ultrasonography is so imaging the gallbladder, inter, internal organs. So that is ultrasonic waves used. So this is called ultrasonography, okay. So next uh, question number 12, question number 12, the sound used in sonar are audible to us. So this is false because which sound is used? Ultrasound. So ultrasound or ultrasonic sound is used which is not audible. So so answer is false because uh, the statement says the sound used in sonar are audible so they are not audible they are ultrasound so that's why answer is false question number 13 echocardiography makes use of following sound so this is again ultrasonic so all these uses of echo so they use ultrasonic sound so that you can remember and you can answer easily. Next question, the minimum distance of the obstacle from the observer or source of the sound for hearing distinct echo. So 17 meter, 17 kilometers, 70 meter, 35 meter. So it is, when nothing is given, so that means it is in air. So 17 meter is the minimum distance. So this we have discussed before also. The next question, So we have used ultrasonic waves, no? so many questions and uh, why are they used? So ultrasonic waves are used in sound ranging and echo depth sounding because they can travel long distance undeviated, so this is okay. They can be heard, this is wrong. They cannot be confined to a narrow beam, so this is also wrong. They travel faster than audible sound in air so this is also wrong so first answer is correct okay so ultrasound so all travel with the same speed okay ultrasonic sound so audible sound infrasonic sound they all travel with the same speed in a medium their frequencies are different their wavelengths are different but speed is same in a medium so remember okay so this this can be asked in separate question that speed of infrasonic wave is less than ultrasonic wave no so speed is same for all the waves in a medium in one medium they will travel with same speed only frequencies are different okay so thank you for watching my video